All praises to Yahweh, Wah Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostle and the elder GMS, and honors to you brothers out there teaching the truth. All right, I'm going to read this quick. Uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Uh, Arise ye and depart from this. This is not your rest, but it is polluted. It shall be destroyed. It shall destroy you even with a sword of destruction, right, man? And uh, this is one of the pollutions, man. Uh, the unmanning of America. All right. Basically, feminizing a man, you know. All right. Because the man is supposed to be uh, the head of everything. All right. And it will destroy your ass, man. And, you know, because the most high about uh, see, basically about uh, decency and order, man. Don't know. Uh, 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 as I'm gonna read here, don't no man, don't no woman supposed to be uh, above the man or have reverse work of the woman. Basically, is the role is to look after the household and stuff like that. But you're gonna see when I read on um, how that's uh, been twisted. All right, it says right here uh, three things men didn't do. When I was in high school, canned tomatoes, knit scarves, push baby strollers. Today, only people I know who do either of the first two are men. It is nearly always a man. I see pushing the stroller while his mate is working on her smartphone. These quotation details illustrate what social describe as demasculation of America. Our gender terse was once distinct. Women never grabbed a grease gun nor men a flower sifter. But they become more intermingled each year. All right. Um, hold on. Let me get the scriptures, brother. All right. So, uh, it says right here. Uh. It said 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But what I but what I would have, you know that the head of every man is Mashiach, and the head of every one is the man, and the head of Mashiach is the most high. Alright. So that's how uh, this this the law and order is supposed to be between a man and and uh, a woman, all right?